Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Bethesda finally released a much needed update for Starfield. A lot of changes, honestly, changes that should have been shipped with the game originally. But anyway, it is what it is. So let's go over them. Number one, they finally fixed the map. It's no longer just a blue screen. We actually now have a three dimensional model and it shows all the points of interest locations. And it also marks the quest or the mission on it as well. Now it does seem a little bit inconsistent. Like for example, the main city, New Atlantis, they have everything. Everything is mapped out perfect where each location is. Even your own individual ship model in orange, it actually changes based on what ship you have as home ship. So that is pretty good. It even shows my outpost. So I have an outpost very close to New Atlantis. It actually shows every hub, every structural model as it is in my outpost. So that is really cool. And the same thing if you go to other major cities like Aquila, as well as Neon, it, everything gets mapped out. But then I went to Paradiso in Porima and it's not actually all mapped out. Uh, all the stores are not showing up. So it could be just being a beta version. So they haven't completely finished doing everything. Whether I'm on the map view or if I put up my scanner, the labels are just not showing for the stores like in New Atlantis or the other big cities. I also have an outpost right across from Paradiso. The structures are not showing like in New Atlantis. It's just a label, just a marking. So yeah, a little bit inconsistent. They probably haven't done everything. Uh, maybe they're just not paying for overtime. It could be just being the beta. They haven't completely mapped out every location across all the cities. So, you know, not perfect. But then again, it's never been perfect. It is still welcome, at least now you are able to see what the points of interest are. The next major change is ship customization, more specifically ship interior customization. So now you are actually able to decorate the inside of your ship just as you would inside an outpost. And the way to do it is you can decorate the interior hubs that you have right now or they actually now have hubs that are completely empty. So we have different interiors for the same module. Now, in addition to those, you also have the same version, but empty. So for example, for the computer core, you have the computer core, but you have another one that is computer core empty. And you have that for basically every type of hub interior. You can choose one that is just bare bone, completely empty so that you can customize the interior the way you want it. I did try to see if I could change the location of door placements. Unfortunately, that is a no go. All this update really does give you is just decorate the interior. Uh, you cannot still change certain things. I do have hubs with furniture smack right in the middle that blocks the pathway. So now with this, I can get an empty one and I put tables in other locations. So I'm pretty happy with this particular change. Next up, you have a lot of new gameplay options in the menu. So you can fine tune the level of difficulty, not just a general very hard or hard mode, on top of that, you also now have a breakdown for enemy combat, ship damage and things like that. You can see the entire list of changes from the screen. You also have a new additional mode, extreme, if you want to go extreme. And for every item, if you make it harder, you increase your XP earn. But if you make it easier, you lose XP. So that is pretty cool for those of you who find this not challenging enough. Now you can fine tune it, move everything to extreme. 
And finally, you have a couple of small changes, small updates. If you now go into New Game Plus, you're also able to change the traits as well as your character. So now you have that option. For Xbox players, you have new display settings for frame rate as well as being able to prioritize whether you want better visuals or performance. They also list a lot of bug fixes for quests, for graphics, for things like that. I didn't go through the entire list, but I just took one of my quests and I see if it's working. Uh, it's still not fixed. I have still this uh, mission where I have to deliver a package to this NPC that is still in the ocean. So this for me is not fixed for what it's worth. And then finally, one thing that I'm pretty excited about, they did show off that in the future, we're going to get a vehicle. So I am pretty excited about that. Hopefully we get that with the next DLC expansion. They already stated that it's going to be fall of 2024, most likely September of this year. I am definitely looking forward to that. And I hope more changes, especially to shipbuilding. I really want to see new parts and the ability to actually choose where I want doors to be placed, as well as remove those stupid ladders and be able to have more stairs. That has been the update. Does this kind of change your opinion of Starfield? Does it make it better? I personally, I always enjoyed this game. So to me, these changes are welcome. I do feel like there could be more changes, they could be better. And I also feel like these changes that they made this time, they should have been baked in the game originally when it was released and not an update half a year later. But then again, that's how the industry is kind of working right now. Anyway, let me know what you think. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed the game, have fun, and I'll see you all in the next video.